So old Kendall, who is a Nega, not a gray alien. Once again, our buddy old Kendall is a Nega. He admitted in a roundabout way, well, actually he, it wasn't a roundabout way, he admitted that the Earth was indeed flat. And once again, my consciousness download is never wrong. And uh, basically, I, I'm just pointing out something that the typical surface conspiracy theorist is going to miss. The border at the edge of the Earth, you have all this ice. This is where the Draconians live. This is where Draco the Dragon lives. I've heard both Gilbert and Kimberly Bunch say that Draco lives in ice, and also Gilbert said that they have the good plastic in the ice. And according to David Wynn Miller, plastic is also metal, and metal is also plastic. <clears throat> now let's check out some ET chicks. Here's Costa Yoga. Does anyone else notice that <clears throat> when it comes to Costa Yoga, she's basically like the same thing as a Ronda Rousey type? Does anyone else notice that that she has that same like program as Ronda Rousey going on? The same program as Cyborg, Gina, and <clears throat> <laughs> God, they really don't want me leaking this stuff. This is major secrets here. With Costa Yoga, I see the, uh, the same type of cyborg as Ronda Rousey and all of them. I just wish she would clean her feet. And I noticed that Freely the Banana Girl totally sent this message to me. Don't be afraid to start over. It's a chance to build something better this time. I can tell this was directed straight to me. And she, I have found, I have found that Freely is subscribed to a bunch of weird people that have nothing to do with veganism. Like this transsexual right here. Now this tranny is very different from the average tranny. She's very mature and she's not like all trashy like the average tranny is trashy. As you can see right here, Freely the Banana Girl is subscribed to her. And once again, this, this tranny has nothing to do with veganism. This tranny has nothing to do with being raw till four. This is just one of her Ashtar command buddies. And does anyone notice? When you look at this girl's face, does anyone notice she looks exactly like Giant Baba? Look at it. Because we all, we all know that all wrestlers are aliens, right? So look at Giant Baba. And look at her, this girl's face. It's like the same person. It's like the female tranny version. Like Giant Baba. And then this girl. I've never seen... And her... Her face and her, all her expressions, they look so E.T. to me. And speaking of wrestling, once again, Andre the Giant is God. And in WWE 2K, 2K14, his theme song is Ave Satanis, which means Hail Satan. So the guy, Andre is Draco and his theme song is Hail Satan I'll show you something else too. This is something 
brother brother Nega all Kendall pointed out what a gem he turned out to be eh? <laughs> I think I'm starting to remember him from past lives so we, we already know in Andre we trust which is the same thing as saying in God we trust so in other words God is Draco Draco is Andre the Giant but what brother all Kendall pointed out was that this this hand right here is not Andre's hand. And all Kendall was saying that most people automatically think a hand is a, a benevolent symbol when it's really not in this case. So he was saying that this hand with the index finger touching the U means something very sinister. The only thing I could come up with is that the hand would be like a, a little boy's hand. And it seems as if there's a nail that has gone through it or something. I don't know. It's I'm not the expert on this uh, the symbols here. My consciousness download didn't come equipped with that. You know something I noticed? The more high frequency I am, the harder it is for the aliens to wake me up at 3 a.m. and the harder it is for them to scramble my brain while I'm talking on a video. I think this one's passable. I know she's probably going to see this, so I better just say something nice about her. You look passable. You look passable. And your tattoos are pretty good, too. Usually tattoos look really bad on women, especially like our good friend Costa Yoga here. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this girl? <laughs> look, all women watching this video, you need to learn that tattoos only look good on women if they're in color. If you get, like, sleeves like this, they just look like you got a bunch of dirt on your body. And remember all this ink is constantly getting reabsorbed in your dog brain. So all this ink is getting reabsorbed in your brain and you don't have a brain to begin with because you're a dog and you got dirty feet here. <laughs> Cost the dirt foot. <laughs> you know I had a girl when I was working at the hospital a long time ago I had a girl that looked so much like her Ask me out, and uh, what? I remember when I first saw her, I was like, she looks so much like that other girl. I'm like, yeah, she does. Thick and meaty. I was trying to do some uh, yoga like three days ago, and I w of course I wasn't eating meat, and. I really fucked up my shoulders because basically the uh, my body was dumping the muscle and I was malnourished from not eating enough meat and yes yeah, so it's basically like I try to exercise on top of malnourishment which always equals pain and uh, yeah look well, guess how many subscribers I got I got 335 which it was like 333 just a second ago, but I guess the, I guess the ascended masters aren't following me around anymore. Where's our buddy at? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm starting to remember our good buddy, old Kendall. So he was saying something about, I had a dream where I saw an Arab guy with rainbow aura and hopefully that's not me. Hopefully that's not me in the future. As JSX said, this is my last incarnation. 
And by the way, I think everything that's going on with me currently is a ruse because I could I could sit here and shoot down the logic of all the all the details of my quote unquote forsakenness. And I don't think that um I don't think I'm forsaken. I think that this is just a clever architecture slash ruse in order to get me to realize that I need to do veganism and yoga and it was just all a clever ruse just to get me to come to that conclusion by myself and because when you look at it the timing on everything is just so suspect for example if I had gone if I say if I got a lawyer right say if I got a lawyer from the very beginning and did pre-trial intervention I could have got a conditional null pros on the felony and just gone back to work and then if I did that I wouldn't have learned anything and I would have just went back to work went back to the gym and I wouldn't have learned anything and it's the same thing with uh, if I had gone to court at the arraignment and I did my sovereign argument and Ald Kendall hadn't taken me to the Queen on the astral and put the the triangle of in debt to the Illuminati on my forehead if he hadn't done that, then I would have went to court, and I would have won, then I would have went back to work, and I would have went back to the gym and hadn't learned anything on my own. I wouldn't come to my own conclusion. So when you look at this, the way it, if you look at the way everything worked out, everything was based around me coming to my own conclusion that I needed to do, I needed to be as vegan as possible and as yoga as possible. So when you when you look at the timing of everything, it just does. It's just way too convenient because, like I said, if I would have got a lawyer and did the pre-trial intervention, I just would have went back to work, back to the gym. If I w if I went to the court and did the sovereign argument and won, I just would have went back to work, back to the gym. If I would have, the only way they could, the only way they could uh, do all this is through the method that they did it, and. I know people like uh, Ald Kendall here and Pita. They love to, they love to fuck with you, and they love to get you to come to. Uh, they 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 love to do this kind of shit. They love, to, see, they love to put the life in life. The, in other words, these are the kind of people who would never tell their kids what they got for Christmas, and these are these are the kind of people who would never. allow their kids to open a Christmas present until it was actually Christmas Day because they love to see your smiling face. And I remember at the very beginning, and here's another logical fallacy, at the very beginning I asked Kimberly Bunch, I said, what's gonna, what's gonna happen with all this court stuff? She said, oh I, I just see you happy. And See now I know why, because they're just going through all this just to make me, <laughs> they're, just, they're just trying to Oh, you guys! Oh, oh, you guys! See, they're just trying. All they're trying to do is just vamp my reaction when they finally extract me. They're just trying to like build it up and build it up and build it up and build it up, and they're just trying to. Uh, they're just trying to get like this super duper reaction of happiness out of me, kind of like a kid on Christmas morning. Because you gotta remember, people like Fred and the Masonic Elders and people like Alt Kendall, they can't feel when you when you lose your soul you stop you stop you become like Mr. Spock where you can't feel emotions anymore. So what they're trying to do with me is that they're trying to make me so happy to see them when they finally show up that they can actually feel something. I remember Cyrus King talking about that on his website a long time ago. Shout out to Cyrus King and Macarena. Surprised I didn't wake up to one of their horrible videos this morning. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I think I'm starting to remember old from past life. If he looked like he currently does, like in the same body, I think I'm starting to remember him. 
I notice he's he looks like the country singer Dwight Yoakam a little bit. He just needs to bald and get a mustache. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to say, this girl right here, she goes to Thailand. Harley goes to Thailand. And this girl is from Vancouver, Canada. So why is a girl that's a tranny from Vancouver, Canada, which is the same place Penn Dragon is from, Marvin Sawyer, who's another magician. So why would this girl that lives in Vancouver, Canada, fly to Thailand, and at the same time, Freely the Banana Girl is subscribed to her, which has nothing to do with veganism? Are you guys starting to see where I'm coming from? You've got Harley, Freely the Banana Girl's boyfriend. This guy's always traveling to Thailand. And then this girl from Vancouver, Magical Town, goes to Thailand and Freely the Banana Girl subscribed to her for no apparent reason because this has nothing to do with veganism and it has nothing to do with being a tranny. So obviously these are all Ashtar Command aliens. Remember the Ashtar Command is there to avert nuclear war. And, by the way, I just wanted to say that, uh, yeah, Freely the Banana Girl is definitely the, uh, the E.T. Christ. He's definitely the, the food Christ. And, furthermore, I think I just forgot what I was going to say. God damn it. I notice my brain is, like, processing a lot better now that I'm refraining from exercises that are like killer exercise. Like when you do killer exercises and you eat a shit ton of meat, your brain stops working, especially when you got, you know, chips in you that... So like I said, the, the, the more high frequency you are, the less they can fuck with you as far as what you say. And, uh, God, I wish I remember what I could say, what I was going to say. Oh, freely help me remember. Something about nuclear war, averting nuclear war, and oh, come on, what was I going to say? Speaking of transsexuals, how about Harley? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like I'm related to all these people. I feel like I'm Australian. I didn't even know it. Oh. You know, when I, when I look in Harley's eyes, you know what I see? I see John Bradshaw Layfield. He has that... He, and the same thing with... Um, same thing with Captain Kitty Bum Report. When I look in when I look in the eyes of John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL, Harley, and Captain Kitty Bum Report, they all have the, that like demon look in their eyes. Freely is different from that. Freely is not doesn't have like those demon looks. That, so I don't think Freely is an archon. I think she's just a regular alien, and I think that uh, oh. What's his face here? Harley is uh, an archon, along with Captain Kitty Bum Report and JBL. And an archon is a ruling class, Jim. I don't think uh, Free La La here is. I mean, she's a Jim, but she's not a ruling class one. God, what was I going to say? Do you remember all. Hey, Johnny, I'd like to hear to remember. Something about, maybe it was something about him. I don't know. Maybe I'll remember. <laughs>